Next, we move on to my favorite topic, something that I wanted to talk about for ages. I told you, motherfuckers. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Originally, I made this video or I made a clip. Oh, no. I spoke about it on my podcast. And I made a clip on my YouTube where I spoke about Gunner's outfit, right? The infamous outfit where he's wearing the Christian Dior sort of see-through monogram um, jumper with a Rick Owens. If it looks like zip up blazer thing, Rick Owens shorts, Rick Owens geo basket type things with no shoot, with no laces. Um, just looking like a hot mess, right? But. Everyone was taking a piss out of him for the outfit, taking a piss out of him for the weird pose. But I said at the time, you know what? I don't think the outfit is that bad. There's just components about it that don't really work or kind of rock with his sort of style and maybe his build. But the outfit isn't that bad. It's just maybe him. He just probably doesn't swag it out as much as he probably should. And the comments went off. Nah, the outfit's bad. You're bugging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever people are saying, right? And if you're on social media, you know, people pretending to be stylists or pretending to have any good fashion sense themselves, right? Then look, then what happens? Then later on down the line, flipping Rihanna decides to be Gunner for Halloween, which is a flipping epic outfit, and absolutely kills it and looks 10 times better than he does, obviously, in the same outfit. But this is proof, like I said before, that Gunner's outfit wasn't that bad in the first place. It was just the way he was wearing it. Because maybe I'm too, maybe it's been all my years spent working in retail, all my years being an avid fashion streetwear fan, looking at many lookbooks, looking at many Vogue runway pictures of TUD images. You know when something doesn't look quite right on somebody because of their build, because of the way it fits, because of maybe the fabrication, the styling, whatever, you can kind of recognize it. And you can also see some stuff that you'll see in another person and imagine how it might look on you. So that was the only, that's the only thing that I was doing. I was filtering it through my eyes. I was thinking, you know what, if I had this, maybe I wouldn't wear that Christian Dior jumper thing. Maybe I'd kind of, you know, dumb it down or not make it as high end as it is. I'd maybe take off all the chains and maybe maybe wear one. And again, swap it out for making a t-shirt so the chains are really showing, not showing the dark turtleneck. I'll do some some tiny things. Maybe the shorts that Rihanna's got on on the left are a little bit better than the ones he's got on the right. Look a bit too small, a little bit too tight. That's the only thing that I would do. Tiny, tiny little adjustments just to ensure that the outfit looks the way I want it to kind of look in my head. But everyone was just cussing, saying it doesn't look... Uh, uh, and then suddenly Rihanna wears it and everyone's kind of sharing their image everywhere. It's just, come on, man, you guys. But again, it also goes to show that sometimes be, being able to be like... What was it called? It's not clothes, but like a hanger. Whatever that word is called for people that wear clothes really well, it does go to show that some people just have the gift of whatever they put on just looks good. And Rihanna is just one of those people. Whatever she wears, street style wise, whatever she wears, kind of fashion, street, like again, she just ends up kind of looking absolutely impeccable. So yeah, big up Rihanna. Um, one of the greatest Halloween outfits of all time. Again, it's, it's good because I didn't really celebrate Halloween. I never do Christian background. So it's kind of ingrained in me not to celebrate. It's a bit weird, but I didn't go out and do anything, but it's, it was quite interesting to see all these people, you know, put their outfits together and show them, obviously, all across social media. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of the celebrity dress up thing. I never really got the idea about Halloween being an opportunity to dress up like somebody that's well known. I always thought the idea behind it was to dress up as somebody scary, but I guess it's a double entendre. You're dressing up as somebody well known because you think they're scary. That's what you're hoping for, I guess, but whatever. Um, Rihanna looks great. She looks amazing. She smashed that flipping outfit head to toe, as who is Celebrity Vice says here. And the winner is this is why she is the queen at Bad Girl Explains It All. When Fashion Victor went as Fashion Victim, it gets no better than this, folks. How to wear Rico into 101. But yeah, it's just little, little subtle things, right? She's got the jumper tucked into the shorts. The shorts look a bit baggier than what Gunners got on. Even the, even the flipping whatever what she called them. I think Rihanna called them the Gunners actually. Those kind of stacked, um, is it monolith? Whatever they are, um, Rick Owens, right? With the no laces. That's all it kind of needs. Again, take off the, take off the chains. Maybe take off the jumper for a t-shirt of some sort. Or maybe just even take off the jumper and just leave the vest on. Whatever, something just to kind of dumb it down slightly would have looked much better but again Rihanna's stepping forward doing the way forward she even braided her hair the same absolutely epic man she absolutely smashed that I'm not going to lie she absolutely smashed that